Uh, the movie really captures the highs and lows of your singing careers, of being a background singer at times, at, at sort of in the wings, but right out front, mm -hmm. because you, the music yes. hit all of our ears. Everybody knew your voices, but didn't necessarily know your faces or your names. Mm -hmm. How did it feel to kind of see your story unfold in that film like that? Your it, true was, story? it was amazing to me. When you tell the story, but when you see it on film, it's it different. takes on a whole new life, uh, especially the part that you just shown a few minutes ago. I actually, when I first saw it, actually teared up uh, to see I know I was cleaning <laughs> houses, and I know it's nothing wrong with cleaning houses. No, not at all. But I knew I had a gift of singing, and I knew at that moment that's what I was supposed to be doing, and I never looked back. <laughs> By the way, brilliant motor mouth Maybell in yeah. hairspray on Broadway. <laughs> yes. Mary, you work with R Mick Jagger. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and Leonard Skinner, too, right? Yes, yeah. sweet home sweet Alabama. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know. I would love for you to just name a couple of the songs that you're on so people could be familiar, even though they haven't seen the film, they know your voices. Yeah, well, um, Give Me Shelter, of course, with the Rolling Stones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because none of these records are the same without your voices That's on it. Right. Let's be clear. <laughs> All props to the artist. Both. I was the original Acid Queen and Tommy with the London Symphony and the Who. Wow. <laughs> Tina did the movie, because I was... Look, Tina did the movie, because I was... <laughs> but I was the original acid queen. You yeah, just don't get stories like this every day. <laughs> you have got to see 20 feet from Scarlet. I'm telling you. 